Hi everyone, welcome back. I really, really don't know what happened there. It was all very, very strange. I was trying to connect um, and I couldn't and then it was, um, it was going back and I couldn't get back into it. So hopefully we'll try that again. Um, hopefully this will all work. The joys of technology. <laughs> right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That was so, I don't know what happened there. I couldn't, I couldn't link. And then I was like paused and I, yeah, anyway, so. <laughs> what a nightmare. Anyway, we're here now. Um, so introduce um, your business um, and tell us what you make and sell. Okay. Uh, well, my name is Dave and yep. I run a little company called Rock and Crystal and we make, um, gemstone semi-precious gemstone bracelets necklaces yep. and earrings fantastic and why did you set up your business um and how did you come up with your business name well it's probably easier if i do those in reverse order yep um because we use natural gemstone rocks and because all of my family like a little bit of bling so a little yep. bit of crystal the two things went very naturally together, rock and crystal, and that's how we came up with the name. Now, how we started was about five years ago, I sent off uh, for some bracelets, love a bracelet, yep. for my partner. And when they arrived, I was incredibly disappointed. The quality of the gemstones was poor. It was very poorly made. The knot was visible. And I looked at my partner, Paul, and I said to him, I said, I'm sure I could do better than that. Uh, <laughs> and he went, well, go on then. If you think that you could do better, do better. Yeah. And hence, that's where it started. Uh, that's, uh, I describe it as an addiction. I'm, I'm addicted to rocks and crystals. Cool. And the addiction started about five years ago. And the kind of, with the kind of learning, how was that? Were you, was it sort of YouTube videos or books? Or how did you sort of put it all together? Or was it just in your head that you sort of did it as such? Well, I only did one, I did one real class with an expert. Yeah. Um, along with about four or five other people just to get the very beginnings and to work out what tools I would need and sure. how much space I would need and what kind of a stock I would need. And then the rest of it has been just learning by accident, trying things, breaking things, making mistakes, thinking, and a lot of kind of cogitating, sitting there thinking, how can I make that work? What can I use to make that fit here? Uh, and so on. But yes, lots of YouTube videos, lots of practical help from um, other people. Yeah, exactly. And it, it's, it's really helpful to, from, from other people. I, I like the story as well of finding something because I, I think at the moment, um, especially in lockdown, there's been a lot of people who have all of a sudden that they kind of think that, uh, and I don't mean to sound disrespectful, but they're kind of making something and it's not of that good quality and it's just something they've thrown together. And um, it's when, you know, I'm, I've seen what you make and the passion for what you do is really, you know, it comes through um in, in what you make but uh it, there's a difference between and i think with our people and the people that are in our uh curated we you know we we they're, they are proper makers that make their products and it's top quality which is is really important yes. yeah, yeah exactly and that's why we did yeah. and i also think what you just said there about curated what? i think the, the community is so important and one of the things that i've been stunned by is that people are so generous People are generous with their skills, with their ideas, with their help. Nobody that I've ever asked for help has gone, oh, oh no, I'm making these and you can't do it. Everybody's yeah. so helpful and said, oh, try this wire, try, you know, try this cord. This is better. This is a better supplier for gemstones. They've, other people have taught me how to tell the difference between plastic and gemstones just by feel. Yes. Um, so it, generosity of spirit that other people have shown and that I also when people ask me a question I try and pass that on exactly exactly and that, there is isn't it there's that difference that you have where you know exactly what go, what goes into the crystal how it's made instead yeah. of it you know instead of it just being you know with some of those people where they just chuck everything in front and well there we are and not really know what it's about but you know because yeah. you you You've made that. Uh, Rob's just come in to say that um, this isn't live, but um, people, people, have, people have joined, so I don't know what he means. So hopefully, because there's lots and lots of people, so I don't know if it's Rob, but there, it's, it's seen, it says live that it usually is. I know a 
little mishap earlier, but every, there's loads of people live. So please, if, yeah, there we go. There's Emma. So people are just saying it's better. So there we go. We are live, but I don't know what, what Rob was saying. He just knocked the door and said, yep, he can see it. Fantastic. The people can see it. So um, it might be something. Well, yep, there we go. It's fine. <laughs> I thought I'd just carry on. I thought you know, we're both here. It is uh, as it always was. Yep, they can all see us. <laughs> oh, great. God, this is sometimes be whatever excellent so um whereabouts are you based and where is your workspace so we're based in crystal palace um and my workspace has gradually increased from a small corner of my sofa to take over the entire third bedroom so my workspace is in my spare room right okay i uh, sorry i've got rob saying he doesn't think it's live but everyone's saying it's live so i'm just gonna ignore him <laughs> I thought as well with your um, with your name, uh, Rock and Crystal. I thought it had something to do uh, with Crystal Palace, where you where you live. But that's not. I right. think. I think that's a happy coincidence. I think. <laughs> if, if you asked the two of us, I would say I came up with the name. If you asked Paul, he would say that he came up with the Excellent. name. Excellent. No, it's just because it, it was me. It was yeah, me. exactly. It's one of those questions that I kind of when I started asking people, I think it was Parkgate Pottery. I was sending something to her. And then I was like, ah, oh, she lives in Parkgate Road, and that's why she's Parkgate Pottery. And then I thought it's quite interesting just to find out about the business name. So, um, oh, I'm watching it on Dapper Suave, not curated by. Okay. Oh, I see what I've done. There, yeah, okay. So everyone's watching this. Um, I'm actually, for some reason, watching it via Dapper and Suave. So with all the confusion of me coming on, I've actually gone on to Dapper and Suave's account to do this. So um, obviously people are watching this. So I am really <laughs> sorry, I think, because what went wrong earlier. So um, we'll, we'll still, um, yeah, I know curated froze and I, I just couldn't catch up it. So um, we'll be able to, I'm sure that we'll be able to still share this via Dapper and Suave over to curated. So don't worry about that, everyone. And obviously... Um, it just means those people on curated might not necessarily have seen this, but we'll do a little shout. So I am really, really sorry. This is the first time this has gone wrong. I, I understand what Rob's on about now. So, uh, yeah, we are Dapper and Suave at the moment, but Dapper and Suave is part of curated. So, anyway, sorry about this, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no problem. Um, so, um, next question is, um, have you a favourite item to create and why have you chosen that? Do you know, it's really, really difficult. I, I suppose it's a little bit like asking somebody which one is their favourite child. Yeah. Um, every time I try something new, it becomes my favourite for a little while. My favourite at the moment is we've just launched a new a new range of malas, all yeah. hand-potted and made from natural crystal. So, But I keep going back to my start point, uh, my lovely gemstone bracelets with a yeah. little bit of zing and crystal. Um, so it's my favourite changes constantly, but I keep going back to my first child, if you like. Um, yeah. My, my bracelets. Uh, yeah. Both Paul and I, I've got four sisters. Um, everybody in the family, like I say, we have a little touch of, uh, we have a little touch of bling about us, I like to think. Yeah. Um, and I keep going back to my bracelets and thinking about stones and construction and um, men's ranges and ladies' ranges, and surprisingly, uh, very recently, I've been asked for a lot of children's bracelets. Yes. But at the moment, my my favourite is children's bracelets because I'm just building up stock and uh, looking at doing a range of those as well. Yeah, I mean, we, the weekend when we were um, we were at Ewhurst and um, just got some like little headbands, and then the, the people were saying, "Oh, do you do them for kids?" We're like, no. And um, it's one of those things where just having the kids, there's a lot of our events as well. You yeah. do get the little kids come in and they've got a little bit of pocket money. And you always say, you know, have something at the front, you know, to get those little kids in there. And, you know, the kids are very much into, um, they're learning a lot more about, you know, sustainability, about, you know, about recycling and all of that. And they're also looking when they have their money to what they want to spend it on and not yeah. necessarily now of, high street tat they obviously was you know they're, they're understanding what their parents are wanting so yeah we we, we need to a children's range isn't it and we, we've got yeah, those absolutely. people that do that but yeah it's it's nice and to get that feedback as well isn't it that actually the, the children's range would work which is really good and then you're not forgetting everyone because sometimes jewelers they, they do all this lovely jewelry and they forget about the men you know where's your men and yeah you know, we go cufflinks you know and you know 
I, for one, I only wear cufflinks if I'm going to a wedding, which is very, very yeah. rare, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> um, so have you been working on anything new this year at all? I'm sure that you're constantly new stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I've been trying yeah. to stay uh, of emerging curves. And actually, it was really interesting. You, you, we mentioned about the children. We had a lovely little boy came up on Saturday when we were out. Yeah. Um, and he, not only did he want a little bracelet for himself, he wanted something to match for his mum. So we ended oh. up buying two of the same kind. And he was only about six years old and his dad yeah. face was just lovely. But it, yeah. again, new stuff is listening to customer feedback. Um, the malas came about from a... From a sorry, I do beg your pardon. Uh, from feedback from um, a, a mind, body and spirit event that we did very recently, which was sure. do you do malas? And yeah. so that's hence the introduction of the range of malas. And recently as well, we've had a lot of requests for Shungite, um, which is a, a stone from China, which is supposed to protect against electromagnetic uh, radiation. So lots of people concerned about telephone masks, about mobile phone use. So sure. I've done a little, yeah. done a little bit of research and ordered some top quality, very expensive, Shungite from China and just about to launch a range of Shungite jewellery as well. Wow, excellent. So it's lovely, isn't it? Because your jewellery isn't just jewellery. There's things that can can help people and things like that as well. It, it was strange because on um, Sunday we had Inzo candles and I, on Monday, I got this beautiful, I was, it was the Isle of Wight Festival and I bought from this person, it's a wolf. Um, and I can't remember what it's made of, but I just wore it on Monday because it, it was just giving me that little spiritual kind of uplifting. And when I actually put it on, the lady told me or what it meant yeah and what what the the meaning of it was and as i put it on i burst into tears um and it was just that emotion so sometimes i i, I used to wear it all the time and now and again i just wear it and like, why are you wearing that and it was just something that i just wear now and again and it's that little comfort thing that i have that you know it makes me feel you know it's protection yeah protection and that's yeah. what yeah that, you know and i think we all kind of we all need that little something don't we that um just kind of, absolutely you know, yeah and we Paul and I were having a discussion about, because you can't just make a mala, you've got to have an intention and, and a purpose for the mala. Yes. Um, so he said, well, how are you going to decide which malas you make and which stones you use? So again, I, I was thinking back on some of my life experiences and some of the um, yeah. emotional disappointments that I've had. So the, the first two malas are made one for strengthening the heart um, using uh, uh rose quartz and onyx, uh, but properties of which are both to help recover and grind you after a disappointment, an emotional disappointment. Yeah. And one for opening the heart. Um, again, you know, just to after after a, an injury, um, mm. to open the heart again and keep you in the real world and prevent you from running away and fantasizing. So yeah, yeah all of the mala range are very intentional malas uh, about experiences but you know we can make anything and, and i had one customer come uh, actually just night before last and say um i'd like a mala so my first question back was what do you want it for what are your favorite colors what stones would you like and which kind of a mala uh, so we're very customer focused very focused on what it is that the customer wants to achieve out of the jewelry as well yeah definitely it's um strange because our event in september um originally um, and obviously it was cancelled last year, was, um, and it's an event called Pip Fest. Um, and we, we there, we have gazebos. There's also live music. Um, you know, they, there's a beautiful, it's um, called Pip Brook House. So we're trying to raise money to keep it alive. And it's, it's stunning, you know, and if it can, I think it's used as police training at the moment, but wow. if it could become something for the community. But we have a special yearly and there's, there's, so, there's the store holders that we have. There's the food, the live music, all of that going on. And there's, spray paint and there's also the healing fields um which is just really really lovely and it's just this great combination of um mm. people all coming together and you know you can sit there in a circle and there's all different things like that so we're almost bringing a little bit of pit fest to um our uh, september event because we were hoping to combine pit fest they had dorking unlocked which was live music but as i've told people now that's not going ahead so we are we are still bringing a little bit of pit fest to our september event so there we go with your with your crystals there so um we have an ethos about customer service being unique friendly and creative is there some kind of ethos that you have that you kind of work with 
Yeah, it's just going to reveal just how shallow I am. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> the ethos really comes from, um, I, I take that uh, record, I, I, you know, it's called Back for Good. Right, yeah. Back for Good. We, I, I don't want a customer to come up and, and buy one item. Um, if I have a customer who, who buys, I want them to come back and back and back. Yeah. And, and that's why uh, we offer a, a free lifetime guarantee for any jewellery that's purchased. Wow. Um, stretchy bracelets, you know, they do break a little bit of extra effort, catch it on a button, it breaks. And lots of people would think, oh, well, that's only cost me 20, 25 pounds. I'll just put that down to experience. So our lifetime guarantees, gather up as many stones as you can, send it back to me. All you pay for is the return postage and we'll send the bracelet back good as new and repaired for as many times as that takes because wow. it, doesn't, it doesn't cost me a thing. Yeah. Put a new piece of polymer in a bracelet and send it back out to continue, you know, to allow people to continue to wear it. And for the sake of an extra couple of stones from, from my stock, from my stash, yeah. um, I'd much rather do that. And that's actually been quite successful. So um, has been used quite a few times. People are generally very happy to get the bracelet that they paid good money for back in working order again. And the same goes, I haven't had a necklace break yet, yep. but again, a little bit of effort sometimes necklaces do break but i want to pe i want people to bear in mind that, that you know they bought from somebody that they can trust we can fix we can make anything um we can make from a, a bracelet a, a real chunky bracelet to fit the biggest bloke to fit in the tiniest tiniest of little petite wrists um so basically i mean yeah. apart from a working motorcycle we can in terms of bracelets earrings necklaces we can make pretty much anything in pretty much any color and pretty much any size so we want people to come back if i've done a bracelet for somebody and a year later they're going to get married and they want a suite of matching bracelets for their bridesmaids mm. i'll be the first person that they think of oh i know yeah. who can make rock and crystal can make those for me that's lovely i like the fact that we said they're back good and it could be you know it's almost a usb for you isn't it if somebody says yeah oh, well, you know, I'm always forever, you know, catching my necklace or bracelet, then you can say, look, if, it, if you do break it or it gets caught or something, that you can send it back and repair it, which is something that it, I, I really like that. And, and also yeah. what's great, isn't it, that I think what you were saying there as well, is having something that you can put onto a bracelet that's unique instead of those, you know, those high street kind of bracelets that everyone's got, you know, and we, we, we know yeah. they are about saying them, but it's, you know, it, you've got that bracelet, but somebody else has got, and it's all pretty much the same. So it's nice that yours is very bespoke, isn't it? Which, which is what people really want now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, we actually, you know, I will actively involve people in the design process, you know? So for example, I, I had a request last week from a, a, a chap to make a bracelet for him. So I made three, Mm -hmm. um, sent the photo of all three and said, you know, a little bit, you know, if, if you like these stones, take that. If you like that, those accessories, take that. I want you to build a bracelet that you want. So I'll, yeah. I'll do three drops. You pick what works for you and, and tell me. And that went off day before yesterday. So I just laughed in there because you said, take that, take that. I thought, I'm going to have to add, take that back for good into my September playlist. Because we have a <laughs> yes. playlist. Um, which we've done, which is really, really lovely. We tried to uplift with the music, which you'll see, and, um, you know, this is really kind of weather. So I am going to add in, because you said, take that, take that. And they went, I thought, okay, there we go. So we're going to add Back for Good for you um, into the place. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. that. That's really good. I said, oh, I'll put that in, because they've said something that's a song. So there we go. A special request there for you um, into our music. And that's really nice, because... Um, I will share the music uh, with you as well, but we have on Spotify. So if you just type in curated by Dabra Suave, we've right. got our Christmas summer list. We've got our June one and our September. So we just send the link to Dorking Knowles and they'll play that music in the hall, which is really, really lovely. So we try to customise each time. So if somebody says a little, like you just said there, there we go, it's added. <laughs> so you're doing it. Get a little dance routine ready for when you do it. So That's what cool would you say? What are, your, um, what are your goals and dreams for this year? You know, it's. I, I think the the biggest goal and the biggest dream this year would just be for it not to have another lockdown. Yeah. Uh, just to have, I mean, it was so fantastic going back into live events and being able to see, feel, touch people again, have people, you know, what I do isn't for everyone. Um, 
and we can tell after a little bit of experience now when somebody walks past my stall um, lots of people it, the blink doesn't even register and you know straight away that that person's not into what they're having to look at but other people come and their eyes light up and, and that's the people that you want to talk to that's the people yeah. you want to touch them feel them smell them engage with them talk to them say what's yeah. your favorite color do you like this blah 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 and it's just it's lovely to have that connection again with people and have that exchange and yeah and, and smile on somebody's face when they actually buy something you know i i hardly ever wrap anything that i sell um although we've invested quite a lot in the packaging because nine times out of ten people go oh no i want to wear it oh and yeah yeah somebody takes something away and they go and they're so pleased with it that they go no i don't want it in a box i want to wear yeah. it i want to show it off um so my dreams and goals for this year is that we continue with live events and we don't have another one of those horrible lockdowns yeah, yeah. it's true and it's true what you said there as well with um you know and that's when with the curated events we try to look and i love what was said yesterday um which claire said and it's one of those other words which i love is diversity and i i so believe in diversity and i i, I believe in having an event that's there for everyone and we're all yeah. you know we're all we're all you know we're all we're all the same just a bit different we're all different and we're all different and i think that's what's really great and, and there will be people that will walk past your uh, and like you said they won't blink and we have that as dapper and suave on the weekend we can work out we had 28 customers about those 28 customers we had a conversation we found out things about them they found out things about us they found out things about curated as well so it was really nice and there are sometimes and uh, we all do it where we look at that person we go they're not our customer you know and it, it, it's it's nice and they can walk on to whoever next and it, it, it we all have a choice don't we then and yeah that choice is it's just that when people i don't want people to be that rude and you know the, we've done events where people have looked at our stuff and look at it you know and ugh, you know I'm like well okay if you don't like bow ties fine but other people do and you know yeah. just right on love because <laughs> it makes you as well you put that time and effort into it and all of all of the people that do these events, no matter what, you know, making jewellery, doing art, sewing, you know, all of that, we're all time and effort that we put in, and our love that we put into it. And, you know, we, we get that from our lovely customers. And that's one thing with our events, you do get some really lovely customers, which is great. And they've been there from day one, which I, you know, wouldn't, well, we wouldn't be curated if we didn't have those lovely customers as well, isn't it? Um, yeah. So who would you say is your support network? Uh, Paul uh, yeah. and my, my family, my team of uh, yeah. my sisters who um, sometimes I'll send them something and they look at it and they go, oh, that's amazing. And sometimes they go, mm, that's not really working for me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just really, it's a really small network. Um, I run everything past Paul. Sometimes I um, tend, to, tend to go a little bit overboard and maybe <laughs> you know, perhaps too much of a little bit of bling. Uh, and he's quite good at refining things and toning things down. Um, yeah. He's also very good at researching and finding me uh, top quality products. Yeah. Um, he's done a lot of work recently, um, finding me some stock cup for, for Christmas bracelets coming up to Christmas. Because, of course, I, I'm guessing, like everybody else who's coming along, we're, we're looking at the fall winter collection. We're looking at preparations for Christmas and for the new sure, year. Yeah. Even though it's only you know the middle of this year. Yeah. But, yeah, he does a lot of research for me, does a lot of buy-in for me, uh, and that just helps me with the design and the creation process. But, and like you said there as well, isn't it? It's like, you know, when you say about the bling and that customer comes along and they want the bling, then you can customise it and they can have what the hell they like as well, isn't it? it it's, it's, oh, yeah. It, it's individuality, isn't it? It's having, here's my bracelet. This is, I'm wearing something that somebody else hasn't got. I like it. And if you don't like it, it's tough. It's, you know, it's what I like, what I like, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's so true. Yeah. And um, so what events are you doing with Curated by Dapper and Suave? Uh, we're doing the Dorking Halls in September. Yep. Uh, and that's the only one so far this year. Cool. Uh, but I think we only kind of came into contact with, by coincidence, we've both been following each other on Instagram. Yeah. That last event on the South Bank, it, that was kind of a happy serendipity when the, yeah. when the two of us came together. So, uh, yeah. but hopefully a lot more in the future. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. It, you know, it's that bit as well with getting that happy divide as well with jewelers and things like that. And also what, yeah. what, what is great is um, we're able to look at our events and you know, what's great as, as they go and compare it to next year of, you know, 
of what sort of did sell and what didn't as such, because we kind of ask people what they've made, which is confidential, but then we can work out and making sure we're, we're getting the right, right mix of people, which is, um, yeah. which is really important. And obviously, you know, it, it gets your name out there and then, oh, you know, it, it does. People come to the events and then, oh, it's Dave not here this time, but it's really nice because then, you know, we're, we're working on something where we can really get people to know about all of you guys, which is, which is really important because obviously you come to our events um, and, you know, it's not like you go off and <laughs> you're nowhere to be seen. We still want to get that message out there for people so they know who you are still as well yeah. and lots of other things planned for next year. Um, and the last, and I say it was lovely actually, because we, we hadn't been out for a while, obviously with lockdown and we, we came into London and I know that Solo Craft Fair, um, I must say, I think they do their events very, very, they're really, really good. And what I love about it, and it was almost a bit of research is they actually theme their events. So it would be kind of like home and then it would be um, jewellery. And the one that we came to yours was um, LGBT which was yeah. absolutely amazing. And we met some really lovely people and, and you as well, uh, Prince Jason, we took on board and, uh, uh, and a couple of other people that we bought from and we spoke to. And it was just a really nice, you know, atmosphere. And I love the fact is it was LG, but it, it wasn't like in your face. It, you were just people, <laughs> aren't we? Which was, um, yeah. yeah, it was, isn't it? And you were, you were back there in the day as well. Um, I think you were trying to avoid the rain was that last Sunday, was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's a really you know and it's, it's also a really good mix isn't it you know there's the younger people there as well and people like you can give the advice to those youngsters that are starting out as well aren't they that you know they're kind of so pleased that you, you know that you bought something and we would chat we chat to a lot of them which was really really lovely so yeah so yeah I mean, really good. Saturday is really lovely um I, I sometimes when I'm at a fair I have to keep saying to myself you're here to sell, not to buy. You're here to sell, <laughs> to buy. It didn't work out like that on uh, on Saturday. Yeah. I, I, I bought from, I think, about three other storeholders. And it's great because, you know, in the little lulls, we can all talk to each other and admire each other's work and the passion. And it was it was a lovely mix again on Saturday. Yeah. It was a superb ma matched, lovely yeah. bunch yeah. of people yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then that's something that I'm sort of working on, that when we meet people at different events, that we can then, you know, getting that sounding board so that, you know, you know about other markets that are going on, they know about ours, and we can all kind of work together because it's, it's great, isn't it, to pop up at different events and you go somewhere and, oh, look, there's Dave, or, you know, in different things yeah. because it's always nice as well. I think there are those people that stick at the same, well, I do this event and that's, I do this every month and that's all I do. And yeah. you kind of get there, oh, it's them again, you know. And it's it's really nice to have new, fresh things that are at the events each time, which uh, yeah, make it that variety, doesn't it? Um, mm. So the last question is, why did you choose to work with uh, Curated by Dacre and Suave? How can you choose not to work with a company called Dapper and Suave? <laughs> Very <laughs> true. <laughs> I mean, it's you know, we had such a good conversation and I've, I've been following you on Instagram for a while and I love the ethos that you have and I love how other people talk about the community that you build among the traders and um, yeah. that spirit and all of the additional things that you do like like this, like the, the web chats and the WhatsApp groups supporting each other and the Zoom meetings. And so it's, I have been to some events where you just kind of like, yeah, there's your store, crack yeah. on. Um, yeah. But this a very different experience this feels like community creation yeah um and we in these hard times we all need each other we yeah. all need that little bit of support and assistance yeah uh thank you i mean uh, you know as well with the whatsapp group and the bits that we do it's almost what i'm trying to do is almost get that bit so that you can already kind of interact and meet each other that so that mm. you know on the on the day that you kind of know almost oh i'm gonna buy from her or him or whoever <laughs> it is um, and doing that, but you've made that connection already. Um, and then it also takes away that, you know, you don't want to come to an event and everyone's just chatting, 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 you know, storeholders, and then they forget the customers, which, you know, we've been to those events. And I think sometimes when you step back and 
you see it from the other side as a customer's point of view. So that's what I'm trying to have our experience so that we're all, you know, and it's great. We're, there's the vibe when we're all getting, you know, we're getting ready, you know, um, setting up and everyone comes over to each stalls and, oh, wow, that's great. Because, you know, they, they've seen it. And then, you know, even just checking in and afterwards. So it's a really nice thing that, um, that we're doing. So, yeah, anyway, as this video, I have to say to her, I'm really, really sorry. This should have been on our uh, curated by Dapper and Swap. So hopefully I'll be able to, do share it somehow and i do apologize we had a, a bit of a glitch earlier um we will be back tomorrow it will be on my curated by dapper and suave posting but probably you know there are people that follow dapper and suave that um you know don't necessarily follow curated because it's a dip you know there, there are some people that's that sort of crossover rob's got it sorted there we go what would i do without him so tomorrow we're going to be um with um stuff by the bloke with gary which is really really exciting to talk to gary Gary's been with us um, right from the beginning. So um, really nice to talk to him. So we'll be chatting um, all things, uh, uh, stuff by the bloke tomorrow. Um, this video will go up, hopefully I'll put it onto our curated and um, it will go over onto our YouTube. So please don't forget to subscribe um, onto our YouTube and we'll see you September. And I'll see Dave as well tonight at six o'clock with our lovely September Zoom catch up that we're gonna have. Um, so you're, you're there tonight. Oh, oh no, you're working, aren't you? You're working. I am. Uh, you're working. That's fine. Well, sorry, I've just realised. Sorry, oh, my head's all over the shop this morning. I tell you, so, oh, I think cause I've got 101 things to do. So <laughs> won't see you, but we'll, we will share all of that information. That um, everything that you need to know. I, I kind of, I've tried to work out in my head doing all these events now. Everything you need to know is there. Um, you know, even from last time, somebody where are the toilets and. I was directing the women to the men's. So um, I will put the directions to the toilets. <laughs> I was like, yeah, on the left. I was like, oh my God, I'm taking her to the men's toilets. Anyway, I'm sure she found them. <laughs> <laughs> right, really great, great to talk to you. And I say, we'll see, you'll see Dave um, at our September event. And um, everyone have a lovely day. I hope that, um, things get better technically for me. <laughs> All right, cheers. Take care, bye-bye. Bye-bye.